Hi, hello, it's the GD Punctuation Guy. So I was looking at my GD save file, and I had a stupid idea, so we're gonna do it. Basically, the save file stores all of like your one-time events that you've completed. So like unlocking a vault or talking to a certain character. And so I just reset all of them to zero and we're gonna see what happens. So there's 24 events total. We're gonna try re-unlocking all of them. First one is unlocking the challenge. Okay, so right off the bat, you'll notice I get a text box because I've already actually beaten the challenge. Uh, which I guess will also open the basement. Uh, which takes us to here. Uh, there's no chest, but it does spawn the monster. Uh, will I have the lock? Will I have the keys? I don't think I'll have the keys because those are also stored. Those are numbers 14, 15, and 16. Oh, they actually are opened. Oh, I think that's... I think those are stored for if you open them, not if you've collected them. Because I didn't reset me collecting them, just opening them. So I can free him right away. It's interesting how this game works. Will it spawn a second chest? That's what I'm wondering. By the way, this is like a backup of my save file, so I can just revert everything after. Uh, oh wait, no, the chest is after this. Uh, okay, no chest. Oh, sorry about Scratch, that's from, that's from the April Fool's, uh, mod. I still have that installed. Uh, what else? Okay, so, oh, there's two hints from this guy. Uh, oh, we also have to spawn the challenge. Oh, wow, I cannot type. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there's one more where he, he talks about uh, the other Vault Keeper. Uh, how do I trigger that? He's supposed to give a hint about the other Vault Keeper. Or no, I think I actually have to talk to the other Vault Keeper first. Uh... I'm not really sure, but uh... So basically, uh, for to get a coin, you have to talk to this guy, he'll talk about the other Vault Keeper, and then you, ha you end by saying, uh, Glubfub. I don't think this will do anything, though. Okay, no, it doesn't. What kind of name is Colin? Yours is worse. Actually, no, it's a sexy name. Uh, okay, six and seven are... Number six is unlocking the Chamber of Time, and number seven is discovering it. So, where does it spawn? Uh... Pretty sure it's supposed to spawn if I just click around here. Interestingly enough, it doesn't. Oh, I think I need the emblem first. Uh, okay, this is open too. Might as well trigger the shops as well. Oh no, this is gonna take a while. Uh, just click through it, just click through it. <laughs> uh, all right, we have the shop open. Uh, does he sell the emblem again? Uh, no. I might- that might be enough to open the, where does the emblem even appear? I don't even see it in his stock. Weird. Uh, pot bar as well. I think you have to find the shop before you can unlock the chamber of time, so I guess we could try that. Or maybe it just doesn't work like that. By the way, I'm saving my mana orbs for 2.2. Uh, okay, this still doesn't work, so interestingly enough, Gatekeeper does not work at all. We freed the monster. Uh, if I die in a level, it should trigger the shopkeeper dialogue. So let's try that. There we go. Hello. Uh, there's one for unlocking online mode in Geometry Dash World, but we can't really do that. Uh, community shop unlocked. Pop board dialogue. Uh, there should also be, a. Uh, Three chests here for the U for the uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter chests. Those are stored there as well. Doesn't seem to be anything though. Might as well open these while we're at it. No demon key. And I think that's everything actually. So this permanently locks you out of the uh, chamber of time, which is funny. Although I guess we could try bypassing it. Is there one for that? Uh. Gatekeeper Vault. I think that's what it is. There it is. Uh, and yeah, there's some dialogue for it too. Uh, and I think that's everything.
Cool.